So we're in Soham, perfectly normal car, Saturday morning and family all getting ready to go out for the day. But there is a slight problem with this particular car because although the interior, this rather nice £25,000 Ford looks pretty normal, pretty average and rather luxurious as it happens. When you turn to the back and have a look to see, see what's on the floor here, you see an altogether different story and quite a lot of... Um, well, yes, it is indeed paint on the floor. What happened was yesterday, Mrs. Patton went into B&Q in Cambridge and picked up five litres of paint. It was mixed specially for her and she put it on the floor in the back of the car and they had only gone literally half a mile up the road and the paint, well, it sort of exploded. And the paint, as you can see, has done substantial damage to the interior and now, there is the consequences for Mr. and Mrs. Patton of who is going to pick up the bill. Five or six conversations with B&Q has not for them resulted in a favourable outcome because they're still debating whether the cost of the valeting of this is going to be met by um, B&Q, the store. Were they at fault? Did they seal the can properly? Those are the questions that the Pattons want answering and they want answering fairly quickly because the cost of Repairing the damage, marshals have said, round about two and a half thousand pounds. Has that happened to you? Have you had a car with paint exploding in it? Because I think Mrs. Patton would like to hear from you if you had, and we indeed would like to find out whether this is a one-off or whether there have been other occurrences where perhaps, um, is it uh, something happened to the can to make it explode, had it been sealed correctly, and who therefore is liable for this damage to this vehicle.